This is how Volchansk, liberated from the Russian invaders, meets Ukrainian defenders. The city is located three kilometers away from the border with Russia and had been occupied since the first day of the Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine on February the 24th. Local residents say that during the Ukrainian counteroffensive, the Russian army was fleeing the city in panic. I was assuring everyone that the Ukrainian defenders would come anyway. They will come and liberate us anyway. And where are you, Russian liberators? Where did they abandon you? Lyubov can't hold back her tears. She says that the six months occupation was a nightmare. When her husband called at five in the morning on February the 24th and said that the city was already under the Russian fire, the woman immediately wanted to leave, but she did not have enough time. The Russians fired at that side. The school was destroyed. My brother has died. There was no living space on him. I also have relatives in Russia, but I do not accept them. What kind of relationship can we have with Russian relatives now, if the Russian invaders bombard us like this? The Russian military has detained and interrogated the woman's husband, Lyubov says. She hasn't seen her eldest son, who serves in the armed forces of Ukraine, for more than six months. There was no phone communication in the occupied city. Residents of the liberated Vovchansk say that all this time they hadn't had even basic sins – medicine, electricity, money and food. They say that those who supported the Russian world left together with the occupiers. The rest were waiting for the Ukrainian defenders. They brought Russia here. Did I need it? I felt so great in Ukraine. I have a Ukrainian grandfather, Ukrainian father and a Ukrainian grand-grandfather. Of course, we were waiting for the armed forces of Ukraine. Everything will be Ukraine. And that's what I tell you. There's no other way. You cannot live without face. Personally, I did not have enough medicine, precisely the Ukrainian one, because it helps me. I'm hypertensive. I had a stroke once and a heart attack too. I need that medicine, but I couldn't have it. There was a neighbor, a Granny Lila. She told me that Ukrainians were here. Our Ukrainians were already coming here. They were near the White Well. Thank God, I said. Well, that's it. We've been waiting for the Ukrainian defenders for six months. You can't even imagine. That was tough. During the Bawaklia breakthrough, Vovchansk was the last to be liberated. The day before, the Russian army had moved its illegal regional administration into the city, but it lasted here a little more than a day. The Ukrainian flag was installed over Vovchansk on September the 12th. Before the war, more than 20,000 inhabitants had lived in the city. Reported by Pavel Steinmach, Nadia Sukhorukova, UATV News.